What's up guys? We're back at the castle in the forest of Belgium, but today we're pushing the airsoft boundaries once again as we're trying to make a thermal scope work on an airsoft sniper rifle. This thermal scope retails for about $4,500, which is about 10 times what the airsoft rifle it's mounted on costs to buy. This thing has an infrared camera at the front and a screen at the back which displays the heat map image created. It makes spotting enemy players extremely easy as the players moving through the forest are usually very hard to spot but this thing lights them up even if they're covered by thick bushes or leaves. The rifle I chose to mount this thing on is the Novridge SSG 96 as it's an extremely accurate and sturdy rifle to mount this heavy scope to. Perfect fit for what we're trying to do with it. As for my sidearm I've got this prototype carbine kit for the Novridge SSP 18. It turns the full auto Glock 18C variant pistol into a small personal defense weapon as the fall away stock provides extra stability when needed to take longer range shots or full auto stability. Since most people go from the okay. edges of the field, my plan is to rush straight through the middle and use a thermal scope to take out the first wave of enemy players in the surrounding forests of the castle. Narrowly escaping that very successful first run in the middle of the enemy team, I link back up with my team as they're getting ready to assault the large building surrounding the castle. Three above. Yeah, three of the Instead of dealing with the gridlock on the upper floors, I'm flanking around on my own whilst my squad deals with the remaining players inside.
Absolument. With the castle now in our hands, it's under heavy attack from the enemy team. Since it's so close to the enemy main spawn location, they're absolutely battering it from all sides. Whilst it's paramount that we hold on to it in order to close out this game. Cock. Is it a silo? Yeah. Super. It's silo to be safe. After that epic run, unfortunately I got taken out, but our team managed to hold on to the castle and close thanks out. Thanks for watching guys, and a special thanks to our Patreon supporters. Check out some of these videos on screen, and I hope to see you in the next one.